Okay, so here's a job we'll come to today. We're going to retexture in a fine texture, and then we're going to paint all this out here. Now, if you look closely, uh, it's hard to see it, but it's full of cracks. There's full of really hairline cracks. He's, he's filled most of them in, but it just doesn't look right. See, it's all cracking everywhere. So we're going to put these lines back in it as well. Uh, I'm not sure what they call it here. I think it's called Ashlar in England. Different here, but anyway, we'll put them back. When I'm done, it'll look smart. And then, of course, we're going to sheet up everywhere because this is, as you can see, is a nice tidy garden. So I just started sheeting up, but I'll continue a proper sheet up. And cover all these sills here. Make sure that nothing gets to them sills because that will stain and it won't come off. Okay. Okay, so we're ready to ready to go. All prepped up. Uh, the only thing I've not taped is that drain pipe. So I don't think I need to because I'm only this is a tiny area. Of this that I'll be throwing on, so I can just take my time and wipe that down. Uh, you'll notice all the buckets I've got here. I've got my cleaning bucket there for the main to clean the tools off. Cleaning bucket two. So when I'm traveling up. I'm not using that dirty water, splashing it away, that's like semi clean, so it doesn't get a mess everywhere. That's for the cleaning bucket free for the angles and around the woodwork and stuff. Doing it with clean water so it doesn't leave uh, like smudge lines. And then the emergency water bucket in case I get any on the floor. Because with this gear you need to get it off quick sticks. So if any spills I'm on it straight away. So I've got my big bucket of water there to wash it down. And we are ready to go. Here we are. This is day number three. I've actually only been on it two days in total because I did two half a days. It stayed raining. Uh, as you can see, it's looking pretty good. So it's been a uh, been a bit of a mission cutting out these lines. First, I did it with a straight edge and the uh, and the back of a grinder disc. That's what I've used. Uh, cut a disc in half. Draw it on the wall. And just carefully put through with a grinder disc like that. So I started off doing it with a grinder disc and I found that the lines weren't 100% straight like on that one there. So then I did it another method. So I've used the pencil and I've gone around and I've drawn these lines back. And I don't forget I've followed the old lines that were here. See I've marked them all uh, where they were. Some of them weren't exactly straight so it's a little, a little bit tricky. So I stopped it there halfway on that one. Luckily it started raining but that turned out all right because then I just put my straight edge up and leveled the line uh, so we've got the top half to do there but I need to get some more gear uh, so what we decided to do is paint it and then go over it again so we get that the clean white lines coming through because it looks brilliant like that so that's so we're just learning as we go on this one taking me a day longer than what I allow but that doesn't matter I just want it looking good uh, good in for the website this guy's happy with it and so am I so we'll see what it looks like uh, in a day or two Okay, so let's have a look how we're going with this job. Got all the lines marked there with pencil. Cut them ones in. I'm just gonna do painting today. That area's painted. I'll have a good video round at the end. Uh, this job's taken me a lot longer than what I thought it would. I actually ended up losing out on this one, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's all experience in it took me a lot longer cutting them lines than what I thought anyway looks brilliant let's get it painted today and let's get it done the job will be a good one 